You don't have to be well known to feel a sense of pride. The story of Ernest C. Steiberg and the engineering company he founded in 1927 is one of skill, perseverance, and an imagination to make good. In the fulfillment of his own dreams and pursuits as a tool and die maker, his business would go on to fabricate parts and components that touch every facet of modern life. From fountain pens to jet aircraft, the range of customers Steiberg lent his mastery and design towards is a head-turning who's who of name brand builders. And no company story is complete. You know, you come to us, we'll figure it out. Without the dedicated employees who define its true greatness. Bring on those jobs, we'll take them on. This is the story of Steiberg Engineering. Based in Racine, Wisconsin, a contract manufacturer like Steiberg Engineering plays a key role in the making of everyday things. By the time Ernest Steiberg came to the United States from Sweden, around the turn of the 20th century, Racine, Wisconsin was like a modern day Silicon Valley. It was like a, a community of innovators. He founded Steiberg Engineering in his garage on Winslow Street, and the first product to come out of his shop was a decorative serving utensil made of brass and silver. He was so brilliant with his thinking that he had to put all these ideas into working order. And within a year, Ernest was making plans to build a factory on the corner of DeCoven and Kearney Avenues. By the time Steiberg Engineering celebrated its 25th year in business, it counted a long list of world-class customers as proud achievements. By the early 50s, Steiberg Engineering had moved into its current location on Layered Avenue, where, during the summers of his youth, Ernest Jr. spent a lot of time in the drafting room learning tool design. And after graduating from Park High School, he tellingly pursued a degree in business administration from Northwestern University. It was also during this time that he met Bernice Dombrowski, another Park High alum who'd captured his fancy. Ernest and Bernice married in 1951, and after Ernest served in the Army at Fort Orr during the Korean War, he focused on making Steiberg Engineering his life's work. In fulfilling his parents' legacy, Ernest Jr. was steadfast in running a company that promoted from within and didn't shy away from taking on highly customized jobs. There's a lot of different opportunities at this place. You have ownership in the company, and it's for your own personal benefit. Showing up for work every day and having a genuine interest in what you're doing. My dear husband said this is where I want it to be continued as long as it can, and it will. There are opportunities now at Steiberg's that are offering scholarships, so I would say come, start while you're young.